So that was the opening lines of Sonjara Keta as performed by the king of the Kora, Sidiki Diabate, and Jelimadi Sisoko. This is the mosque in Jenne, Mali. This mosque has a number of signature architectural elements such as the protrusions, the ostrich egg on its tallest tower, and the torons or palm sticks that we do not see in any other medieval mosques. These torrents, as you have heard from the lecture, are for replastering or remoistening the mosque every year. Now, there's one unique aspect of Malian mosques, something that is different from the other mosques from the medieval era, such as the Prophet Mosque in Medina and the Umayyad Mosque in Damascus. So, what is that unique aspect? Okay, look at this. This mosque has a lot of pillars. Why is it so? Yes, you're right. It's related to the materials of the mosque. With clay as its main materials, it's not possible for us to have a huge dome like the, the one that we can find in the Umayyad Mosque in Damascus. Instead of a wide open space for the prayers, we have in this mosque a prayer area interspersed with thick pillars. <laughs> 